I am Rabbi Nathan Davidovich, speaking to you on behalf of the webyeshiva.org, speaking to you from Ephrat, Israel. In this week's Torah reading of Parshat Balak, we learn many things. One is a very interesting lesson that we can learn about not complaining when things happen, but rather looking for the source of why it is happening. We learn how important it is not to let our anger obscure and blind us to what is really happening around us. The story in this Parsha is the story of the, the prophet Balaam. He was a uh, one of the prophets of the, the non-Jewish nations, and he apparently, by the Torah's reference to him, had certain powers of being able to curse. And the king of Moab sent messengers to him and asked him to curse the Jewish people. And God told him not to curse him, not to do anything that God didn't tell him. But Bilaam didn't listen. And Bilaam got on his donkey to go ride to to the king of Moab, and on the way, the donkey saw an angel of God with a fiery sword standing in front of his way. So the first time the donkey saw that, he turned off into a field. Seeing that he turned off the path, Bilaam beat the donkey. The donkey then went on. The second time, he was in a narrow space, saw the fiery angel, and crushed Bilaam's leg against the wall. Again, Bilaam beat him. Didn't understand. Didn't even begin to ask why he's, why he's doing this action. Wasn't used to it. Third time, he sees the angel, he just sits down. Bilaam beats him again. And then an amazing thing happens. The donkey starts speaking to Bilaam. Now, what would you think if suddenly an animal started speaking to you. The donkey asked Bilaam, he says, why did you beat me all these times? Haven't I been your trusted servant? Haven't I done everything for you? And this is how you repay me? And Bilaam says, if I had a sword in my hand, I would have killed you. His anger was so great that he didn't even realize the miracle that he was seeing of a donkey speaking nor did he realize how this donkey had actually saved his life. And we learn very important lessons from this. First of all, we learn that when you get angry, you have to realize that your anger can blind you to what is really happening. When you see something happening to you. Instead of getting angry about it, you should ask, why is this happening? You should do a what they call a cheshbo nefesh. Think about what, what have I done to cause this? But Bill didn't do that. Instead, he was complaining. This is like, this is a, a similar kind of a concept that we had in last week's Torah reading of uh, the, the story of uh, Korach. Uh, when, when Korach was engaged in fighting and we learned that it's, it's important not to fight. It's important to uh, settle things amicably, reasonably, and not to fight. Here, Bilaam was fighting with the donkey. He did not didn't learn the lesson that whatever happens is from the hand of God and there must be a reason. And here he's seeing a miracle in front of him of a donkey talking and his eyes are blind. A similar situation happened with with Hagar, the wife of Abraham, when she was sent out into the wilderness with Yishmoel, her son, and she ran out of water and she put Yishmoel down by a tree and started praying to God for his, uh, for his salvation. And then God answered her prayer and she opened her eyes and saw a well. The well had always been there, but she 
hadn't opened her eyes. So many times we say things happen and our eyes are, are shut to what is happening. Now, the donkey is not blameless either. What's the donkey doing? The first things he talks about, he's complaining. And Rabbi Shia Tversky, Avram Tversky, all of a shalom of lesser memory, brings a story of Rabbi Itzala of Panovich, who attended a community meeting to discuss some important issues for the community. And when he got there, instead of hearing them discussing the issues, everybody was yelling at one another. One is saying, I'm more important than you. I give more money to this community. Uh, another is saying, I come from a better family. To argue with one another back and forth. And Rav Itzla gets up and pounds on the, the table and says, Stop. I want to tell you a Torah lesson. He says, The donkeys came before God with a complaint. They said, Why have we been singled out for all the from all the animals to suffer? Wild animals roam the jungles. They've, they're free. There's no master over them. Cows and sheep graze. They give their milk, but they graze in the pasture. We alone are beasts of burden. We just have to carry the loads of people. We have no peace. Our masters put heavy loads on our backs. And if we don't move fast enough, they beat us. It would only be fair if you'd give us the ability to talk to our masters and tell them why we are tired and not to overburden us. So God said, you have a good complaint. I will give you the ability to speak. So here we see that Bilaam's donkey began to speak. But instead of explaining to Bilaam that the reason I stopped is that there's an angel in your way who wants to kill you with a fiery sword. What did the donkey do? Donkey said, aren't I the, the donkey who you've ridden all your life until this very day? The donkey started telling Bilaam how important the donkey was, how important he was. And then God took the power of speech away. He says, donkeys who don't know anything other than to assert their importance do not deserve to speak. And that's an important parable to remember. We often assert our importance when we're criticized. Instead of trying to find out why we're criticized, we're saying, why is this happening to me? I'm such a great person. Or when we criticize others, we have to realize that God did not give us the power of speech to be involved in machlokas and fighting or criticizing others. What we can learn from this lesson in this Torah is that we have to be very careful to examine our deeds. And if something bad is happening to us, seemingly bad is happening, don't just say, well, I guess God wanted to have a bad thing happen. Examine your deeds. Is there any reason that you can think of, any reason that you can improve? And even if you can't find anything, try to resolve to try to be a better person, to try to be more unified with people. That is a message. And let's use our eyes properly. As Rav Shlomo Karbach of Blessed Memory said, we should have the eyes of Mashiach. We should look at a person with the eyes of Mashiach, meaning look at not what's on the outside, but what's the inside, what the person's potential is. Don't be blinded. Don't be blinded by your anger. Don't be blinded by things that upset you. Open your eyes and maybe you'll see a little bit of what God really wants to do for you in this world. Thank you for listening on behalf of the web, yeshiva.org. I wish everybody a Shabbat Shalom.